Hi everybody, today I'll show you how to create order form in WordPress using Elementor. So let's begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on add new plugin. And here we have to search for Fluent Forms, okay? So as you can see this, at the top of the search, we have Contact Form Plugin by Fluent Forms, right? So let's click on install now. Click on activate. Alright, so now let's just go inside Fluent Forms. And from here, let's just add new form. All right. Okay. So as you can see this, we are having the three different options to create a blank form, choose template. And after that, we have create conversational form. But right now, we're going to go here with blank form. Okay. Because we want to build our form from the scratch. So let's click here. And here, what we need to do, we just have to click on add. So the first thing that I would like to add is the name fields. So in the name field, as you can see here that we have the first name and the last name. And if you wanted to add the middle name, you can simply do it from here. But right now, I will simply uncheck this. And we'll go here with the first name and the last name. And if you wanted to change the admin field label, you can simply do it from here. And we also have the advanced options. So let's click here. So in the advanced options, we have the container class, we have the name attribute, and we have conditional logics. All right. So let's close this. And in the second option, I would actually like to add phone number. Okay, so for the phone number, I'll simply go here with the simple text. And here, what I will do, I'll simply change this to phone. And this will be a required field. And I can also write down my placeholder. So that will be write down your phone number. Okay, so that is correct now. All right, so after this, I would like to add email. Okay, so we have got the email. So let's click here and email will be added. And we'll simply make this a required field. And we already have the placeholder. And you can also do the other options here. So if you wanted to customize this, you can do it. All right. So after this, we have the gender. So for the gender, I would actually like to use drop down option. So let's click here. So the drop down first would be basically male, female. All right, and we have our placeholder. We'll keep this required and we'll change the name to the gender. All right, so if I just click this here. All right, so now we will add one more option that is to select packages. So for that, we're going to go again with the drop down. So let's click here. So the first option would be buy one and that would be for $200. And if I just go here with the second option, that would be buy two with $350. And in the similar way, if you wanted to add more options, you can simply do it from here just by clicking on this add icon. And this will add a new option. So let's just remove this now. And let's just keep this a required field. And we'd like to change the label here. That would be select package. All right. So after this, I would like to have the address. So let's click here on the address fields. So in the address fields, you can see this, we are having address line one, two, city, state, zip code, and country. So if you wanted to have all the options, you can have it. But right now, I only want to go here with few options. So that would be, so I would basically remove country option and I would remove date option and also address line two. All right, so that would work fine for me. All right, so after this, what we can do here, I think it is fine. And after this, I would actually like to add a checkbox, okay, to ask a question. A checkbox, let's click here. So in the checkbox, we would only have the two options, yes or no. And I will simply ask a question in the element label. All right, so that is the question that we wanted to ask. All right, so I think that is fine now. And this will be the required field. And in the last, we will have the submit button. So in the submit button, I would actually like to change the text here. Okay, so here I would simply like to change the text to send. I would like to keep this in capital letters, send my order. All right, and I would also like to change the color here. So that would be green. And let's just change the size of the button. 
okay so i think we'll go here with the medium size and this would be on to the left side not into the center okay so this is looking better so now what we need to do let's just save form okay so we have created our form and now let's click on settings and the integration so in the settings and the integration you will be able to see the different options you will be able to see confirmation settings form layout scheduling and restriction and you can also see the other options here and after this we also have the email notifications and we have the conditional confirmations so you can simply explore these options by yourself but right now we're going to simply go back to our forms and now you'll be able to see the form that we have created but i would like to change the name here so let's click here on the edit so let's just write down order form click on rename now let's just go back and now what we need to do we just have to copy the short code of our form that's it and after this we have to go into the pages because we would have to create a new page here so let's click on add new page all right so i'll write down the name here order order now form all right so let's just publish this and now let's click on edit with elementor okay so in here i would simply like to change the layout of my page so that would be basically elementor canvas all right so now what we need to do we just have to add the container here and in the container i will simply remove the padding that will be zero and i have to change the layout of the container from the box to okay so i have to change the content width here so that would be full width all right so now what i need to do let's just add the heading and we will also add some text here so that will be also a kind of heading okay so after this i would like to add the container so this will be in the white color all right so now let's just add some text here so this will be order now and in the second heading or the subheading i would like to add enter your delivery details below okay so now first thing that we need to do i have to change the background color of our main container so that would be black color or any dark color or right, so i think i would go here with the black color and i would like to change the color of the text so that would be white color and also the subheading so this will be a kind of grayish color okay so now what we need to do we have to put this into center and i have to change the font family so i will go here with most trace and if i just change the texture to the 30 okay so this is looking fine and i just go to the order now put this into center all right so i would also like to go here with more straight and i will change the weight here so that would be bold and now i have to change the size here so that would be 60 or maybe we can go here with 80 all right so this is looking better and now what i need to do i have to add the padding here at the top so let's click here on the container go to the advanced and at the top we're gonna have 100 maybe yeah this is looking fine and also from the right side okay so this is looking better and here i would simply like to add my form so let's just go back and i will put short code here so let's put it here and i would write down or simply paste the value of our short code all right and one thing that I would like to do, I would actually like to add some padding. That would be maybe 20 or 30. Okay, so this is looking fine. What I can do here, I can change the width here. All right, so now I think the width is fine. So let's update this. And now let's click on preview changes. And we'll be able to see our order now form. All right, so this is how our order now form is looking. And I think this is looking really great. But one thing that we need to change here is the basically width. 
yes i think that is looking fine and what we can do here put this to 80 and now we'll simply put our form into the center so let's just go here into the advanced first and here what we need to do we actually have to add some padding here this is looking better and now i have to go back to our main container and let's just click on the layout and from here we can put our form into the center and now this is looking great so let's update this all right so now this is looking way more better than before so this is how we can create order now page in elementor so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe the channel